I think I, I'd say my food is well-traveled and maternal. You know, I'm not a chefy chef, I'm just a cook. And my food is like, um, it's passed down from incredible women that I know. My mother, my grandmother, my aunts. From generation to generation to generation, taught to the daughters only. And kind of a hug on a plate, really. My influences come from everywhere. I'm a bit of a magpie, so I was born in Nairobi, in Kenya. My parents are Indian. My father was um, an aeronautical engineer, so we traveled a lot or were exposed to really incredible flavors. And to top that off as well, I live in London. I'm a London girl, and I think London is so diverse and multicultural, and to be able to eat Chinese food one day, Vietnamese food another, of course it influences how you cook. The Pronto Scotch Egg is a big hitter. I think it's always really popular. People ask for it to come back on menus. But again, it's a kind of bonny love child of a prawn toast and a Scotch Egg. And you put the two together and you get something really, really magical. I love cooking with goat because actually, when you go to India, a lot of the time they say mutton, but actually it's not mutton at all, it's goat because it's just more readily available. It's very healthy to eat, it's very lean, it's really delicious, It really, uh, you can really impart a lot of flavour into it. My sister lives in Bangalore and she has a girl who helps her around the house who's from Kerala. And um, so I tasted some, some of her curry once and it was really, really magical. So I researched it and although it's not authentic as hers is, but it takes influence from that. It's, it's food that tr transports you and I think that's partly my, my food. It should just transport you to another place and I think the panna cotta really does that because it's such a celebration of an Indian summer. Indian summers are all about the Alfonso mango. I love Marylebone, I love the pace here. It's not too too much of a pressure cooker. And there's football, but there's, there's also community. It feels very neighborhood, which is what I love. Why I love my job is that it's a lifelong education. With the team, Ollie, Matt, Tom, everyone's taught me something. I think last week was really exciting. It started off a little stressful, nerve wracking, getting used to a new kitchen, a new team but by Saturday service was like a symphony.